what's up you guys welcome back to the channel it's yours truly ari and today we are going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial on second life um a lot of y'all have questions on like how to mesh things and how to retexture and recolor things so let me just get y'all to what i like to do when it comes to those things in this video so let's just get into it all right bear with me for real um i don't know what's going on here i did put a wall up right here because i just did not feel like um dealing with like the positioning of the shower and stuff so what i did was i raised the prim and as y'all could tell it's actually a door right there but i put a wall up i could really just put up like a decorated wall that's already like put together um that i bought from like different stores on um, marketplace or in world so let me just show y'all like a wall panel real quick so for example you can buy like wall panels similar to this or in different styles or whatever and you can use these on the back of walls or to change a wall texture but what i like to do if there is a door in the way so i'm just gonna move this to the next room because i low-key want to use that if there's like a door in the way like it is for me here what i like to do is just res a print out so what you need to do is either right click on the ground or wherever you are right click and press build and then it's gonna have all of these building tools so you can do like a sphere a cube all of these different shapes right cones and pyramids and stuff but i usually just go with a cube boom and now you have a cube so boom the next thing you're gonna need to do is go over to where it says texture and you can change this little blank texture or this little default texture that looks like a little wooden thing to a blank and boom now you have just a blank texture um, you can change the color by clicking on this one that's like right next to the texture box and you can change the color of it so if you wanted your walls to be blue you can do the exact same thing and what i like to do is use the stretch feature to make it more like a, a skinny wall and i just be stretching it out to make it a wall you know what i mean but we don't need to do that now i'm just gonna show you guys what i do for this one something that also works that a lot of people don't realize that you can do to your own homes i do this all the time is go to your build tools when you right click and press edit on something in your build tools all you need to do is go down to where it says select face and then you're going to select the wall that you want to select and with that you can change the texture or you can change the color so let's say i wanted this to be dark i wanted this to be a black room boom now whichever face that you select it will turn that color in some cases it might be more than just one face so in this case as y'all can tell it's this wall and this wall so if i really wanted this wall to be a different color than this wall then i would need to probably res out a prim to do it because these two walls are now connected when it comes to textures but for this one over here i wanted to do a different texture but i made this prim uh, blank and i made it dark because I, I don't know i didn't i just haven't gotten around to do it but what i'm gonna do is go here and i'm gonna click here and you can find textures in your inventory that are default or you can head over to marketplace and you can buy textures you can also upload your own textures by going to the file and uploading an image it costs 10 linens it doesn't matter which viewer that you're on but let's say you want to upload a certain texture click on it it's gonna cost you 10 linens whatever and then boom you can upload it and you can use it so for this wall i'm gonna select face and i want this side of the wall texture so i have a texture already in my inventory that i really like to use i like to use this tropical texture so boom all you have to do is click on it and you can preview it before you plus apply immediately or okay just click on it and it should apply to the wall that you're wanting and then you can see the type of texture that you're getting so pretty much these two are literally the same, just different colors. I think I'm gonna go with that one just cause I like that one. I'm gonna press apply immediately and then I'm gonna press, press okay. And now I have a textured wall right behind the shower. I need to delete this. This is not supposed to be here. Yeah, the reason why I did this is because this shower, it just had nowhere to go. It was gonna go in this corner, but it's kind of too big. And although I could have just like put it somewhere over here, I really wanted the sink and the counters to be right here. So that's why it's like that. And so this is like the only space that it kind of fit and looked decent and then i'm just gonna have to like try to make it look decent right here in this little open space but now that we have like our little accent wall if i wanted to i can just color all the walls in here to a another default color so let's just do that i'm gonna just color it like i feel like a green would be cute for a bathroom color so let's go to the green area and i'm gonna try to make make it a decent green color that kind of matches um 
that green like a I don't know that's a little bit I don't know I guess it's just gonna have to be like a little bit of a darker green or something like this that kind of matches okay that, maybe not maybe. I'm gonna go with that one and what I like to do so that I can keep the same color and I don't have to try to match it is I just click on this and drag it to like one of these spots right here so I'm just gonna drag it to right there and then when I select another wall, so let's say I select this wall, even though this has like a tile print, uh, texture on it already, I can just recolor it like that and boom, now I have a green bathroom, y'all, what? Now I don't know if I actually wanna keep it this way. And that's the cool thing about just changing the colors and not the texture. So if you have like a default texture already on it, like this is a default texture, as y'all can still see the honeycomb pattern inside, it's not gone. All you need to do is just click where the color is and just move it back up to white to the default color that it comes. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it at this green. Let me change the wind light so we can really see up in here. So there we go. Now y'all can really see how it's, how it's looking and whatnot, right? Okay. So yeah, that is basically how you texture items and whatnot. Now we're gonna get into how to texture meshes. So give me a second real quick. And pretty much you can do this for almost anything that is modifiable. So if you buy something and it's modifiable, like you're able to change the texture and the colors, you can do the same thing. That's basically what I did with this couch. Um, I usually just like grab everything. So I'm holding shift while I choose everything that I wanna color. And the original color is this color. This is the original but I made it a bit darker because I wanted it to be more of a black couch rather than like a gray couch. And so, boom, that's literally what you have to do. That's all you have to do. If it's not modifiable, like if it's locked like this, then unfortunately you cannot change the color. So just be aware of that before y'all ask me questions like, I can't do it. Well, make sure that it's not locked first. <laughs> if it is locked, then that means you are not able to change the color or the texture because they don't want you to do that and like trying to sell it or something like that, you know, just basically false advertisement. So yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna learn how to texture meshes. So what I like to do when it comes to meshes, this is an easy way to like start a business on Second Life without having to actually create things yourself. Super good for beginners, especially people who don't necessarily know anything about texturing or anything. So what I like to do is come to Marketplace and I like to just type in like mesh, right? Um, you can be a little bit more specific to the things that you want. I'm gonna put it on general just so I don't see anything adulty on here. But let's say you want, you need a mesh, you wanna mesh clothing or you wanna mesh like furniture, you can type in the type of furniture that you want. So you want like a mesh couch. All you have to do is type in mesh couch or couch mesh and then you're gonna find things like this. You wanna make sure it says full perm as well because full permission means that you can uh, be able to like texture it and resell it for your own price or whatever. So these are some things that I like to do. I just kind of search up full pair meshes. So let's say this modern couch right here. This is a really nice couch because I have this in, I actually have this, but it's not like this mesh. I have a couch that looks just like this, right? But anyways, full pair meshes are basically just meshes that other people have created for you so that you can texture them to however you want and you can resell them for however much you want or whatever. Sometimes they give rules like right here, they don't want it to be a freebie, freebie and they don't want it to be sold anything below 10 linden. So if you buy, if you do this and you retexture and recolor and all that good stuff, you cannot sell it anything below that, okay? So basically what you do is you buy it, it's gonna get sent to your inventory and then boom, now you can retexture them. But let me show you some other options. They have like clothing items. This is really popular for clothing. That's what I like to do. I like to mesh clothing or like retexture clothing meshes or that's what I used to do. I don't really do it no more, but basically, I don't know what's good with my like marketplace. Why is the old stuff always showing even though it's on relevance? It's like, it never used to do that, but I'm gonna go with newest to first so that we can kind of see more stuff that are more updated but anyways like this so most of the time meshes will just be white or like a gray texture and it'll say full perm mesh and if you're looking for like a specific type of mesh you can type in like a certain body that you're looking for or a certain clothing style or something like that so let's say I want to do a mesh I'm gonna type in full perm pants or something like that I don't know and like get mesh is definitely one that I used to use a lot. So I'm just gonna use them for example. This is basically what it's gonna look like. So let's say you wanna do a do-rag. You wanna start selling do-rags. You can buy this full pair mesh. 
um they come with demos so you can see everything and try everything on but you can buy this do-rag for 1500 l's and it comes for all of these heads or bodies or whatever and then from there it's going to be in your inventory so i have something else i'm just going to look up some other meshes that i have in my inventory real quick okay y'all i have a couple of examples right here for some reason stuff is not showing up in my inventory and it's really annoying it's done this before and basically i just probably need to reset my black dragon but basically this is what a textured um mesh is gonna look like so this one is just a demo it's not actually something that i bought because what i bought is not showing up in my inventory it's acting like it's not there but it's there um so basically what you're gonna have to do is res out whatever it is so here's something that is that i did have that is showing up or whatever so this is a bowl you're gonna have to res it out on the ground and it's gonna have it's already like texture that it comes with or whatever but all you need to do is click on it and you can rechange it to something else that you want so if you wanted this to have the texture of a picture right if you wanted a picture on here i'm just gonna put this foxy ad on it i'm gonna write i'm gonna press select face and i want this face to have this i'm gonna press apply immediately and boom now my bowl looks like a foxy advertisement if that's what i wanted but if you didn't want it to look like a foxy advertisement and you wanted it to look like something else a different texture you can buy textures on marketplace you can upload your own textures like here are just some examples right here like let's say you just wanted a picture on your bowl whatever the case may be this is all you have to do Low key, this is cool though, low key. If you don't want this texture to be so huge, what you need to do is come down to where it says mapping down here and the horizontal and vertical, all you need to do is kind of play around with the scaling and whatnot. It's basically what I do. I don't do anything special. I just kind of like play around with it to try to make it look like, okay, this looks like carpet in the bedroom. So you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. I think it needs to be just a little bit smaller something like that yeah that looks like carpet maybe a little bit a little bit smaller there we go so now it looks like actual carpet in the bedroom press ok and then boom now you are done i'm gonna delete this couch for a second but basically that is how you texture items that's how you texture meshes as well it's the exact same process you just have to look up whatever mesh that you're looking for you're gonna have to pay for it because if it is full perm and you did not create it yourself other people are gonna create it for you and you're just gonna have to pay for it from them to be able to like go ahead and sell it but yeah I hope this was a helpful video let me know in the comments below if there's anything that I missed or anything that you are kind of confused about that I can help with and I will be sure to get back to you guys so thanks for watching I'm gonna see y'all later peace